Guys, welcome back to Juju Tutorial, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to reduce or shrink your video files significantly using this interesting tool here. So, as you can see on my screen here, guys, the tool I want to introduce to you is Handbrake. And in order to go to this website so you can get this tool, just simply head over to Handbrake.fr, or you can simply head over to Google and type in Handbrake. And you will start to see Handbrake download, etc., which will take you to the Handbrake website. As I mentioned before, you can go ahead and you can choose as well if you want to download the latest version here for Windows, Mac, as well. You can get it for Linux. But just go ahead and download the Handbrake, guys, and you want to simply run the installer right before you open the application. Keep in mind. If you are required to install the .NET, it will trigger you and tell you that you need to download the desktop runtime here. And it will lead you to this web page here where the installer will be started automatically. Or if not, you can simply go ahead and just click the link and run it or click manually to download and install it. But if it's required for your computer, it will tell you, it will open the link for you. And you will be able to do this automatically so that you can install it. Now, once this is done, guys, all you have to do, just simply go ahead and click the Windows and you want to type in the Handbrake and you will find the Handbrake application here that you can simply go ahead and open it. And as you can see here, I'm about to run mine and it says that you would like to check for updates. You can go ahead and you can do that or you can, you can click no and it will open automatically. From here, guys, you want to go ahead and add the video file that you so desire or want to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simply go ahead and drag a video file from my downloads folder, as you can see. I'm gonna drag this video file here into the applications here. You wanna drag it and it will load the video here. Now from here, once this video is loaded, guys, all you have to do, you just simply head over to the video tab section and you want to ensure that you play around with the quality. No, the lower you put the quality, guys, the lower you put the quality, the smaller the video will be. And the higher you put the quality, obviously, the less size it will be. But I found it to be the best quality for the video and for the size is for it to be in the default settings that it comes with, with is 22. So I normally leave it at 22. Once you do, you want to go ahead and you want to choose the location that you want to save the file. So that could be your desktop, your download folder, or even within folder, or even within videos. You can also change the name of the file. But by default, once it detects with the video, it will put a dash one there to make it be the new video. So you can just simply hit save and you will know the video format. Now, once you do so, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it to downloads, for example, and I'm going to hit save. Right now, once you do that, just simply go ahead and click the start codec here, and this will start to prepare and encode the video. Now, keep in mind the length in time it will take to do this will depend on how long your video is. Now, I'm going to show you a video that I already done. I'm going to minimize this and show you one that I already did. So this is the original video, guys. And I'm going to right click on this video here and I'm going to simply go ahead and show you the properties so that you can see the size of the video. Now, as you can see, it is 222 megabytes here. But if I show you the one that I did afterwards, this video, I'm going to show you the properties. It is just 19 megabytes. That's how powerful the tool is and it can easily reduce the video file for you. And that's all there is to it. 